I think one of the most powerful things is realizing how critical it is for us to be cultivating skills in others instead of just problem solving. And I would say this this is true for me, and it's also very true for people who are part of our administrative management group, is to realize that perhaps we got, we came into this job. There's the book, you know, what got you here won't get you there. <laughs> and so like, maybe we all came into this job with a certain set of skills and a certain mindset or approach about, okay, I'm, I'm a doer. I'm going to get everything done. And then I think one downfall of any organization is to rely on those people who naturally are the doers and get everything done and never work to grow the skills of all people. So then the doers get, get really, really tired <laughs> and they have no, nothing left to give. But I think what began to become visible to us within these groups is, wow, I'm limited by my own time. And on the very short-sighted approach, I might want to just do everything today because I know how to do it and it's going to be faster if I just do it. However, that will mean I never get to do anything else besides do all those things that I already know how to do today. And if I work to train someone else, and if my manager works to train someone else, then all of us get to do something different, right? The, the newest person gets to learn the skills of the more seasoned person, and the more seasoned person gets to learn the skills of the top people, and the top people get to grow the organization and do really different things. And so each person, if we recognize that our most important job is to grow others, suddenly we really shift how we approach in any problem. We're not really just supposed to get everything done. 